Welcome to the Deadly Addiction Channel. Today I'm going to be talking about Dungeons and Dragons. Honor Among Thieves. So let me get this out of the way in case people aren't familiar with my podcast or my channel. I have been playing Dungeons and Dragons since I'm 8 years old and DMing since like 16, 15. So that's like over 45 years in total, 35 or so years DMing. I am a big nerd for Dungeons and Dragons. It is not a day that doesn't go by that I'm going over some campaign adventure in my head, even when we're not playing. Jotting notes down, outlines for campaigns. It's been one of the biggest part of my life, my life, it, just in general. So, real quick, the first quote unquote Dungeons and Dragons movie. I don't like, I didn't like the campy goofiness that one of the Wayne's brothers put in, and it just went a little too over the top. It's something I watch from time to time, though, because I'm a lover of Dungeons & Dragons, but I don't like give it a free pass. They did come out with two more movies, low budget, and I think those were better. It might not have been great, but at least I, when I watched them, I was like, okay, this is Dungeons & Dragons, and this is someone's vision of it. You know, the whole thing you go through it in your head to, you know, let it sit well with you and you see it's low budget, but someone put a little love in it, trying to be more, you know, adhering to the premise of Dungeons and Dragons. Now, the Dungeons and Dragons cartoon from like the 80s or something. I love that cartoon. I rewatch those over and over. They give me so much joy. But in the movie realm, I've never gotten that pure joy. So, here we are, 2023. A legit Dungeons and Dragons movie, Chris Pine, you know, Michelle Rodriguez, you know, I'm down, I'm ready. Stayed away from most stuff because, you know, it's just what I try to do, but you can't help it. It's He's not only a big actor, the movie was pushed a little bit, you know, bigger in my, I don't know about the original movie, but the marketing seemed on point. So here we are, Dungeons and Dragons, Honor Among Thieves, and holy shit. Within 15 minutes, I am so fucking angry and pissed off. And this is going to be one of those, oh, my bias. And how do, no, you know what? I don't give a fuck today. Fuck this movie and its garbage premises, setups, actors, and all bullshit. You went again with the fucking nonsense. I don't want to see Chris Pine with his fucking mandolin, wisecracking and being all jokey. This is bullshit. Oh, listen, let me start the movie and tell you a story. We're almost getting... And just one fucking silly, stupid fucking thing after the other. And it's non-stop throughout the whole fucking movie. So even some little things that are like, oh, a little Easter eggs out here. You know what? It's, it's fucking out of abundance of garbage. Like, so I go fucking buy some snacks. I go shopping with my aunt. She buys these things. Some of these things are just like some entomin things. It's just pure sugar. It's a big difference from going to a bakery and getting a fucking decent blend of, you know, ingredients. No, this is just like pure sugar. When you're at home and you make your Rice Krispie treats, they're fucking amazing. Go to the store, buy a Rice Krispie treat that's already packaged by fucking Kellogg's. It's just a sugar fucking garbage. It's just disgusting. That's what this is. This is bullshit. And this fucking nonsense with, oh, this, I, I read, because this, before I did this, I did do a cursory thing because I can't fucking believe it. Fuck critics and all the bullshit. Oh, this was fun. This is the, the, the. And again, I'm taking myself out of it. Because maybe that's fucking true. But fuck off with, oh, the the composer played Dungeon. Played, he doesn't even fucking say it, right? He doesn't say, oh, I played AD and D. Oh, I played D and D. You know, I started with the third edition, which sucked cock and balls. No. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, no. I played dragons. Whatever fucking stupid comment he made. Music sucks. Just 
fucking garbage blandness. Never fucking felt upbeat. Never felt like I was in a fucking Dungeons and Dragons world. Despite the fucking every fucking thing they tried to pull out to get my nerd going. Displace and bees, fucking chess. This is stupid fucking setups. And I gotta watch Chris Pine fucking hack it. You know, through the whole fucking thing. Oh, this movie's got a fucking solid corporate. No, it all is garbage. Give a fuck about his wife and his fucking daughter and a fucking predicament. Your villain who's a fucking campbell asshat who turns out to be not the main villain because we got the red wizards. Oh, let's pull that fucking out. You fucks are assholes. And, and I'm going to tell you right now. Keep staying away from the fucking content that fucking enamored me and glued me to my fucking chair. You know, 13 years old, 14 years old. Dragonlance Chronicles. A new world called Kryn. Uh, 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 the Forgotten Realms, but this is fucking placed in when they let you know every fucking second with some stupid fucking tie-in. Oh, let's mention Baldur's Gate and all the bullshit. No, you want to do that? You go with the fucking companions. You go with Drizzt and fucking Wolfgar and fucking... Like, what are you fucking doing? You fuckers think you can make up your own scripts and just fucking knock out a cornball Dungeons & Dragons movie? And a fucking real nerd like me, the, the, the real, you know, D&D person you're trying to get. This is fucking bullshit. Your fucking, your posters suck cock, everything. I'm in a good mood. I just want to have fun watching Dungeons and Dragons movie with money behind it and all the bullshit. And again, they half-assed it. Every fucking thing. You know, I watched the fucking show, um, Wheel of Time, and I gave it props for doing, trying to do what it did and casting and stuff. This shit was fucking stupid. I, I don't give a fuck. And if you want to base it on the newer Dungeons and Dragons, which is, to me, cookie cutter stuff, you know, I'll admit that the last iteration at least tried to, you know, blend in the old school with the new. Just fuck off. With your fucking contrivances and plot fucking garbage. Fucking heartfelt shit. Get better fucking actors. Get this fucking better everything. Just, I fucking, I just knew I fucking put myself in the wrong mind frame. Why would I be happy, smiling, excited to watch a fucking movie? And then for the fucking first couple of minutes, I'm grinding my fucking nerves. Getting to a point where they're telling a fucking story and he's fucking hamming it up. Oh, and I gotta tell you, oh, and they got the puppets as fucking creatures. And you think I'm gonna be fucking enamored by this or drawn into your fucking world? Everything sucked. Your stupid plot, the main fucking thing of the story, your fucking double twist, the twist of that. This is the, the movie doesn't end. Let's fucking put some creepy looking red wizards of Thay and. For some fucking plot of their spells that they turn people on. It just sucks on every fucking level. Here's what you should do, you fucking fuckheads. And this is the perfect blend of fucking camp and everything. You get fucking Danny DeVito. You dress him up as the dungeon master from fucking the cartoon. Just go for it, you fucking asshats. Have him come out in his fucking red robe, just like he does in a cartoon. And narrate a fucking story... And get the concept of a dungeon master into it. And then tell a fucking story. To let him come and tell the story about Kryn. And its sphere of influence and the moons of Kryn and its world and its whatever. And get to the fucking Dragonlance Chronicles. Same thing. Have him come out for another fucking trilogy. He could be fucking, you know, Nick Fury. And then he's going to come out and talk about Drizzt and all those books. There are so many fucking books that not even have to do with Dragonlance, with the main characters. There's fucking amazing stuff that was riveting. I got the book sitting on my shelf. Forget about Drizzt. You know what? You've got amazing fucking books. Douglas Niles. There's fucking amazing people writing incredible stories at the time where Dungeons & Dragons was fucking at its peak. It's like watching the old WWF. And knowing that this that was fucking amazeballs. This is garbage we have now in wrestling, which is why I can't fucking stand it from that attitude area era. I don't give a fuck how cool Steve Stone Cold Steve Austin was. And that whole shit. It was just fucking garbage to me and still is. It's even worse. So 
We have a fucking movie, Dungeons and Dragons, Honor Among Thieves, hyped up, excited, fucking give me something decent. Just give me something that just fucking, you know, gives me some nostalgia too. All of it just fell flat as shit. I'm fucking sick of it. You fucking asshats, make your fucking stupid TV show because you committed to this garbage. And do what? You'll have a fucking, you'll just fucking water down the Dungeons and Dragons till it's fucking nothing. Till it's generic for fucking audiences to come in, you know, and do their giggles with his fucking, oh, look how many wisecracks are in this fucking movie. And how am I playing this fucking character as a harper? Oh, but there's a serious undertone of, you know, I got my wife killed and, and my daughter, I'm doing this with my daughter. And this fucking villain who used to be part of our band is just fucking hamming it up like everybody else. And it just fucking sucks. I fucking hate it. I don't want to be bothered with this shit. I mean, that's a fucking name. Like, you're making Chris Pine a bard. You know, and, you know, uh, how many, well, okay, so Chris Pine, I think he hits two people with a fucking mandolin. Or his fucking bullshit. And then you got this Michelle Rodriguez, who's pretty good in the movie, actually. Oh, let's make her a strong woman with weapons, and like, what the fuck is going on with the, and he got the sorcerer, and he's, you know, he's, oh, he's not real, he's not real confident in his fucking wizardry. And yo, let's throw in fucking shapeshifter, fucking owl bear, fucking she can turn into rats. It's just over and over with the fucking drivel bullshit. Can't be garbage when your tones are. Oh, my wife got killed because I'm an asshat, and the twisty twisty reveals that you're more of an asshat. You're a fucking cock and sucking jerk off. We got your fucking wife killed, and most of your fucking friends in the Harpers, whatever. I think you want to tell this jolly story. You're fucking ramp, you're romping around, becoming a thief. All right, so he's a boy with the thief. Right, just fuck you. And fuck your group that you got together here. It's not Dungeons and Dragons fucking campaign. We've got fuck a, we've got Lord of the Rings. And fucking fuck off with what you say about the Hobbit movies. You fucking try. They feel like they're in the same world. Yeah, the 60 frames per second shit and stretching out the fuck. But I feel immersed. I'm smiling and I'm fun. Yeah, the critic in me knows they're not as good as the first ones fucking actors are on point there's some fucking amazing stuff there and you can do the campy shit with the singing and fucking from the books it's a hop it's a child book no this is fucking aggravating from beginning to end give a fuck about Sophia Lillis as Doric a tiefling druid like you know fuck off oh Justice Smith as Simon Orner, Ormor, a half-elf wild mage sorcerer, who is the descendant of Elminster Almar, a notable wizard. You know what? You fucking suck. You fucking suck. You can't fucking play any fucking role so far that I've ever seen you in. And yeah, maybe someone will say, oh, look, look at this movie he was in. Oh, boy, he's fucking spectacular. Fine, then fuck you, director, and the people who give people, you know, direction and how they want to you know, get through the world. And you got this fucking paladin who's in the movie for like fucking eight minutes. Fuck off. Give a fuck. You're probably a good actor, too, you know? Just shit. Oh, my fucking God. Oh, and the fucking half villain bullshit is like Hugh Grant. Like, you know, how fucking good could you be in this movie? Ambitious rogue and con artist. You fucking assholes. And you fucking annoy me now, just even fucking looking again at this fucking asshat sorcerer, half elf wild mage, is a descendant of Elminster. Go fuck yourself. And you put him in the fucking movie. When he puts on his stupid fucking helms and all the garbage, fucking sugar coated garbage that's in this movie. I don't want to be fucking mad. And I'm going to be honest, this is fucking personal to me. This is like the biggest part of my life. I'm going to my closet right now and I will pull out books and books and books from D&D. And you know what is more than those books? The fucking papers that I could stack up. Probably over. 10 feet tall of all the writings I've done over my life that I've managed to keep track of. 
books and binders and books and binders and everything. Campaign story ideas. So yes, I'm going to be fucking passionate and more upset about it. I wanted this to be a fucking good movie and get really into this. Fucking bullshit. Oh my god. I don't give a fuck about your dumb fucking cameo and nothing fucking works here. And your stupid fucking thing at the end. Yeah, we knew what you were going to use the fucking tablet for. You fucking jerk offs with your, oh, you know, uh, the, the, the new mother of the group. Oh, what is it? She's got a fucking dagger. Oh, it's been a bad spot. Fuck you. Okay? I've played campaigns that are campy, that are total evil, that are fucking mid-range, and, you know, all the shit. I've had people who played, made character names like the Marlboro Man because we didn't have a character sheet. So this cocksucking motherfucking genius of a brother that I love wrote his character sheet on a Marlboro box of cigarettes. He opened it up and flayed it out. To this day, we could find that fucking character sheet. And you know what he did for a character piece? He took a cigarette butt, put it on a fucking base that where it was broken from an old piece, so they the pewter pieces, or whatever. And then st we stuck a sword out of it, and he had, for his character piece, a cigarette butt with a little sword jutting out of it. And I will love him to the day I die in general, but things like that. You can't make things fun. This guy got killed so many times from one of my DMs. He was playing a fucking monkey. Because we just happened to have a monkey in the group when he died. We couldn't make character sheets up. He played the fucking monkey. e -a -a, or whatever. Fuck off with these movies. You could have made this way tonally consistent for me for most people love d and I don't need it to be where's Marlon Wayans in this fucking movie this fucking annoying I want to love this shit biggest fucking nerd good mood helping friends just you know I, I don't get it I don't fucking get it you wanted to mass produce this bubblegum sugar fucking fest it's all so now you can have fucking critics say, "Oh, roller coaster ride." Yeah, roller coaster ride of what? When you're sitting in a litter box of shit and you're riding, "Oh, this is fun." No, you're in shit and it's just fucking everywhere, and it doesn't stop with its fucking highs and lows, and dips and dives. The things about you know character progression and you know plot, you know fucking what the structure is in an arc of a movie, two hours and ten minutes long, whatever the fuck this movie is. Ooh, let's 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 talk about the first open. No, this movie is fucking garbage. You know we want to fucking camp it up. There. <laughs> hey, my wife died. I got her killed, and, and I got a daughter that's this fucking horrible actress in this fucking movie, or directed horribly. Fuck you, the Hugh Grant bullshit and the fucking. Easter egg shoving down our throats. This is fucking garbage. This is like ruining, not ruining because you didn't really isolate any characters. You didn't do the fucking the Dragonlance Chronicles. You know, when you have fucking Tannis the Half Elf and played by Jim fucking Carrey. Like, what do we. You no, know, you know what? That's not even comparable. Because we know Jim Carrey could do fucking serious fucking work when he wants to. But yeah, he would be typecast to be the fucking campy fucking character. No, this is Chris Pine. I don't want to see him hamming it up. No finesse to weapon fight. You got Michelle Rodriguez doing the best fighting in the movie. It's just fucking ridiculous when you get to certain things. And it just fucking gets more ridiculous and more ridiculous. And, oh, this fucking plot is this and that. Let's get through this. Let's get fucking caught again and rested. Let's get caught. And, you know, oh, we're thieves, honor among thieves. Everything from the premise to the fucking structure was fucking annoying. 15 minutes into this movie, I'm gonna grind my teeth down. And if I wanna start fucking, you know, watching the old ones, I watch the fucking cartoons, trying to get fucking back into the fucking, you know, good graces with my, 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 the little child in me. And the child who only played DD became someone who wrote DD.
And I fucking worked at a store and I've done the legitimate, you know, complete strategies. Fucking, you know, legit. You go there and you fucking DM and they give you everything. I've tried. I mean, this is a huge part of my life. I'm staring at dozens of books, papers that are piled up all over me in this fucking pigsty I live in. Writings, books, character sheets, they're everywhere within arm's reach. And I get Dungeons and Dragons and fucking sugar garbage. Just fucking bullshit. Yeah, some of these Entenmann's cakes look good and mm, delicious like the Rice Krispie Treats. Look good, you know, oh, the pack, uh, but they're just garbage. They're fucking gross. I want to spit it out. So after 15 minutes of chewing on this fucking movie, I wanted to spit it out. This is fucking annoying. I don't want to ever watch this fucking movie again. Ever. I don't give a fuck about Easter eggs and what you fucking missed, Joe. Did you see the displaced the beast, Joe? Oh, it's a fucking you knew it was an Easter egg. Morning Canaan's fucking disjunction where oh we got fucking elements still. Let's put him in a ghosting and have this guy descendant. You go pick the fucking horrible fucking setup and everything is fucking bullshit. Oh, what a what a fucking arc. Uh, you know, oh, a sorcerer with no confidence. not a really good sorcerer. And, you know, he's, he's got to fucking conquer the helm. And fucking every time he puts it on, you know, fucking his uh, ailments, the guy kicks his ass. Oh, my God. Oh, and, and you know what? Unimaginative fucking cinema shots, too, I wrote down. Bland garbage. Nothing innovative, nothing in tune to D&D, just bullshit. You put some of these people on the fucking poster, it's hilarious. Who the fuck is in this poster, and what their purpose is in the movie. Fuck you and your fucking attempt. I don't even like to do this. Directed by Jonathan Goldstein and John Francis da Daly. Fuck you. I hate this fucking movie. Okay, screenplay. Jonathan Goldstein, John Francis Daly, Michael Giddo. You know what? Adapt the fucking, you know, Dragonlance Chronicles. The Dragonlance Chronicles have so many companion books. With the prequels and the meetings and the na nation stuff, you could rule mo like a Marvel Cinematic Universe in D and D. It could be amaze balls. Give it some quality. Put a little camp in there. Fine. Worlds upon worlds of wealth of information and love that we have for the fucking, you know, the content. For the premise, the foundation of it. You keep fucking doing this. And why isn't there a real legit Drizzt, Darudin, and Wolfgar and the Companions movie? You know what they'll do? They'll make a god-awful money grab of a fucking game. And they sell it. And it's got Drizzt in it and Wolfgar in it and fucking Bruno. Caterbury. It fucking was garbage. It was fuck. you want to throw up. Watching the game, not let alone playing it. Horrible. But milk it, right? You could have a you could start a movie franchise. Insanely well done. Let's start with Homeworld. And you find out about the Dark Elves and the under you know, the subterranean realm of Menzo Baranzan. How the fuck you pronounce it? And you watch this elf who's not like the others struggle to find his place with his people in a fucking evil society of, you know, spider worshipping fucking half spiders. It's just fucking amazing. And then you watch as his trilogy ends and he comes to the surface. We're disregarding all the pain and, you know, the, the disability he will suffer from being in the sunlight. And let's carry that arc to the actual companion books of Icewind Dale trilogy. Holy shit. Get goosebumps. No. Let's make our own fucking scripts of garbage. K 
candy coated, sugar loaded fucking bullshit. I don't give a fuck what general audiences think of this movie. I don't give a fuck about your fudging the numbers or whatever. You want to make this thing, you want to get, you want to pick out fucking certain, you know, fucking critics and stuff. It sucked. It's bullshit. Believe the fucking hype. Bullshit. Oh my god. And then you want to put things in like the right end. Oh, the a Princess Bride, Mighty Pontide's Holy Grail, Lord of the Rings, Indiana Jones. Well, you dropped the fucking ball because this was bullshit. Oh, Christ. Just want to fucking have fun with a passionate part of my life. I was fucking in a good mood. I'm, I'm just in a good place. I was just trying to fucking escape and just watch a D D adventure type thing. And it's fucking horrible. I fucking am so mad at this movie. Can't even fucking pull out good things. Maybe one fight here. Uh, you know, one scene here. Music was fucking annoying me. How do you fucking annoy me with fucking music? D D music. Lawn Baffley, whatever the fuck his name is. Here we ready? This is the guy. I used to play dungeons, so when I heard they were making that, I knew I wanted to be a part of the team. You know what? Jerk off. No one fucking calls it dungeons. Okay? Nobody. Okay, I have a friend. Who will make fun of me to day's end about playing Dungeons Dragons? I love her, Demi. She will. She won't even call it Dungeons. You think this is like cool lingo to make you think you really did play Dungeons? No, because if you did play Dungeons, it was Dungeons and Dragons three point something and on to the terrible three four e garbage. When Wizards of the Coast took it over, no, you play D and D. It's fucking simple. I used to play D&D, so when I heard they were making that, oh, I knew I wanted to be a part of that team. Or, oh, I used to play D&D, &A -D. so when I heard they were, you know, fuck you. Oh, it's from Forgotten Realms and put on these fucking Easter eggs. Bullshit. It didn't heighten tension with no unique mixture of verbal chanting and rhythmic beats that properly enhanced the meticulous stunt work. Bullshit. Everything sucks. You stunt work. Garbage. The horrible looking things ever. Bullshit. One good scene of the chick, the fucking mouse, or bird, the fucking this. Four, four, four. Okay, maybe some cool things. Oh, we got a cool. Di Let's do this thing. Let's get the, the wizard, the ass hat shitty actor playing the fucking wizard. Do some weird spell and he floats up and gravity's all crazy. And then we'll do this tracking shot. Whoa! Fuck off. Right? And don't get me wrong, I know most of the time someone will come up, they'll, they'll just nod their head and they'll, I, it was okay. I get it. Oh no, I liked it. Yeah, I had fun. I get it. Alright, sure. Popcorn, you know, fucking fun movie. But for me, this is insulting. It's fucking bullshit. It's just sugar coated and fucking loaded in and out. You know, I can't even pull the icing off this and eat the decent golden cake that Entenmann's will put out. You know, like the fudge top golden cake where the fucking fudge is get, it's just too much. But I can eat that golden cake sometimes. It's not that I eat it together, but, you know, you get what I'm saying. This is not fucking rocket science. It's, you know, movie truck. Look, the fucking Lord of the Rings movies, The Hobbits, those movies. The fucking real deal fans are fucking crazy. They, 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 they rag on those movies. But there's an underlying theme that they will carry with it. Like, yeah, that's someone's vision, and they took the books, and they did their thing. Is it, you know, I watched the fucking House of the Dragon recently. The Boar Fest. You know, uh, Game of Thrones fucking spinoff. I mean, I'll fucking watch everything, and I'll try to be honest with it. I can't tell you how aggravating I am. 10 to 15 minutes in this movie, when it gets with first fucking credits or whatever. It was fucking horrible oh well, let's start open up puppet guys you know let's do practical go into a fucking you know 
fucking prison and let's set up our characters and oh my god oh strong woman all right so what's her strength 18 double zero <laughs> oh my fucking god Oh, such great stunt choreography, you know, showing her just lifting people up and slamming them down like Bam Bam from, you know, the Flintstones. All that might be fun sometimes, like, it might be, you know, interesting to look at from, you know, for a second. But this fucking movie doesn't let up. It's over and over. Holy shit. Music sucks. This fucking bullshit. I just don't fucking get it. Go fuck yourself with critics and the tomato scores and bullshit. You can keep fucking fudging the numbers. They're getting good at this now. You know? Go check out a Black Adam. Oh, it's a failure. You would have made this amount of money. And, uh, you know, it's just, you know, just get your shit together. Go fuck how much love Dwayne Johnson is and. You know, I even love the fucking guy. I don't fucking like his wrestling career. That bullshit. Smelt rock is cooking fucking garbage. But, fine, I get why people like it. You know what? Oh, we're gonna make a Black Adam movie and fucking dictate. No, we're gonna take Black Adam out of the Shazam movie. And you fucking tanked it, you jerk off. This is what the fuck's going on here. Who is creative fucking people? Oh, let's make a Dungeons and Dragons movie. Let's fucking reap the rewards. You know, but we got a new generation, you know. Hey, when you do your interviews, fucking call it Dungeons, bro. Yeah, we're the fucking new click. I want to I wanna fucking highlight that quote and fucking stamp it on his fucking face. Like, stop your shit. Next fucking friend who ever comes over and goes, Hey, we playing Dungeons Friday? I will kick him in his fucking balls and punch him in his stomach. Okay? Yeah, I'm not going to ruin someone's face over there, right? I'm not fucking crazy, you know, or flying off the handle guy. I guarantee you, any friend that comes over here, he says Dungeon, I kick him in the nuts, punch him in the stomach, he's going to go, I deserve that. He's going to fucking know it's bullshit. <clears throat> I used to play Dungeons, so when I heard they were making that, I knew I to be part of the team. Well, your music sucked, okay? However the score the fucking went, wherever you put in your crescendos and your fucking drums or your rhythmic fucking beats or your humming, whatever, it didn't work. Every fucking thing, almost everything about this movie just aggravated me. And it builds up because the first few minutes are so fucking painstaking to get through. With the fucking storytelling, you know, and how everything's fucking going, how we're setting up the movie it was fucking terrible. Oh, you went too far back. Do it again for your puppet. Ca yeah, let's make it fucking. Let's get some fucking D and D in here. Oh yeah, let's do it where you know every character be fucking. You be a character, be a tiefling. You want to be a fucking vampire. You want to be a fucking dragon man. And you know what? Those innovations would fucking probably work in the later editions and the one I currently play with a friend who DMs. Which I'm having a ball with and I love it, even though it's like 5e or whatever that fuck that I wouldn't particularly go for, but I did give it credit that I at least tried. Because I was part of the um you know beta testing stuff where they would ask questions of people like me who hated the fucking other renditions. Because for me, it's A D and D second edition rules, whatever the fuck it is, you know, the new expansion stuff. It was fucking amazing. Do anything with that. I can make superheroes with it. I can fucking do Underwater, I could do every fucking thing you can imagine, and it's all there to be fleshed out. And fuck you people with the fucking negative shit. And you know what? It worked, and it worked, and it had a fucking meaning. And I don't care about your fucking streamline, you know, bullshit. This is what this fucking movie is. Uh, you know, it's a fucking spectacle, fine popcorn movie. Did it get people in the seats? Did it fucking make them happy in the general? I don't know. I'm going to be honest. I don't. All I know is, my experience going into this was, holy shit, I'm going to have fun. I can't believe this. And what happens? I'm taken along and just fucking frustrated. I just aggravated and angry. I'm watching Dungeons and Dragons. I want to fucking 
Go nuts. I like Chris Pine. You like him as fucking Captain Kirk. I even like him as like Steve Trevor in the Wonder Woman movie. And he's done roles. But there's a director here. There's fucking, you know, casting that says, oh, you know what? Chris Pine, ham it the fuck up. You know, play your wise ass, you know, combination of Kirk and fucking jerk off. And then what we'll do is we'll get a half ass actor horrible to fit in the role as like a sorcerer. And but you know what? We're gonna make that sorcerer a descendant of Elminster. Whoa! <laughs> Mind fucking blown. And then we'll hit we'll hint at that and then we'll show him in this awesome contest of wills between the fucking new jerk off mage and the and the ancestor Elminster and put the fucking helmet on. Bro Oh my god. Just don't wanna fucking deal with this. I don't care if there's fucking trilogies and your fucking TV show spin-offs. <sighs> and by the way, I'm not fucking kidding about Danny DeVito and mi mo mi you know mocking and mimicking the fucking cartoon. Cause that's what this is, and I bet you that would work better. <sighs> People around the world like me would fucking, if you did it right, would fucking love it. You know, don't have fucking, you know what, instead of fucking 4,000 words to read before the movie starts to catch up what's going on, or the blatant fucking boring exposition of storytelling that they choose to get the first 15 minutes under the belt, have Danny DeVito come out as the fucking Dungeon Master. Go look it up. Look at the fucking cartoon images of Dungeon Master. Balding, white hair, with the red fucking robe. Do it. Make him his fucking Nick Fury. Now people know that there's a dungeon master. This is a story written with campaigns. Like if you're gonna go to the heart of D and D, or you're gonna make a movie that's bullshit. Like when you watch uh, Die Hard Three, right? I love that movie. And it was a screenplay called like Simon Says, and someone took it and go, oh, that'll fit. Die Hard, and I loved it. Like this is such a fucking travesty in that in that case. Like oh, we got a D team movie. Oh, we I got this fucking spectacle. Let's just turn it. Okay, you know what? Here's let's do our plot storyline. Oh no, here let's draw in a fucking you know uh, a, a trap chest. Oh, it's gonna fucking come after you. Oh, you know we need to splice the beast in here. We're going to do dragon and you know, like a, a stone animation thing. And we got spells to do, right? All right, okay, yeah. But let's get fucking that shit actor and get him to be Elminster's descendant. And the fucking bland, boring rest of the fucking group. Oh, you know what? She's fucking terrible. Let's like um, shapeshift into all types of animals. You know, but you go from a mouse to a fly to a bee to a fucking bugbear bigger than a polar bear. Nailed it. You nailed it. Oh, and let's get Hugh Grant to ham it up, you know, in his 18 minutes in the fucking movie, you know, and, oh, what about the paladin? Oh, he's so fucking cool, bro. He's so cool. <sighs> fucking bullshit. Make sure you have enough jokes in there. Make sure you have enough fucking campness. Let's go. Right? Just do it again. I think Michelle Rodriguez is the only saving grace for this fucking movie for me, which is fucking incredible. <laughs> Holy shit. She's Holgar Kilgorn, a barbarian who is exiled from the Uthgard Elk tribe. No, oh, do you know she can hit magical creatures with a fist? <laughs> I'm a fucking dungeon master. Oh my god. Shit. Man, I don't want to come on here and do this. I don't. I fucking almost put in a one. Uh, I have something already recorded. You know, I try to keep something, you know, because like, something happens and I got to do something and I want to. I used to do three a week. But I only do one a week now. It's just not worth it in that sense. Um, I was just going to slide something in and just throw in like a fucking article thing I did or science or something like that. Instead of fucking doing this. I don't want to come on here and fucking shit on a movie. Let alone Dungeons and Dragons, which is m my life. 
I don't know what to say. I'm not kidding. If I told you I could stack up all these books, Dungeons Dragons, and not just books and manuals and fucking adventure things, magazines, uh, thousands of pieces that are fucking probably poisonous these days to kids because they're all old school, and then some of the new ones, hundreds of new Holy shit, taking sneaker boxes, cutting out cardboard with styrofoam, and making your own piece boxes. Fucking, it is in my blood. It exudes out every pore. There's not one friend right now who can't call me, and we can't start an adventure in five minutes. I don't care if the friend's ever played before. Is this interesting? Let's see how it is. It's part of every part of my being. So yes, I'm going to be pissed off. This might be a halfway decent fucking movie for people. Fine. And I know I'll get friends or whatever. Even D&D fucking players probably, maybe. You know, so yeah, it's alright. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Fuck off. Just fuck off. Oh. This is going back to 2013, apparently, and fucking whatever, 2017, by 2020, daily, and goes, fuck you. Just more aggravation to look at this fucking thing as I'm venting about this stupid fucking movie, and then looking to see how fucking much time they had, and what they were deciding to do. Holy shit. You can do insane crossover shit. You can even buy into The Witcher. You can just have fucking Danny DeVito, Dungeon Master, come out. Dragonlance Trilogy. Boom. The three movies that have the three main books. Holy shit. And then it could show you Drizzt and the Companions or, you know, the, the, the Mystica Trilogy. Just fucking whatever. Amazing books. And then you can go, holy shit. You know, this, this, the worlds are separated by this. They could do a spell jamming thing and they could just combine everything if they wanted to, I know. Which is not there, but it can happen because the witch got that premise of the monoliths and the, the, the world, the main, many worlds splitting. Like it could be done. It, you could just fucking do it. And by the way, I'm not saying that's what I want. This is half, you know, half joking around, sticking my finger at them. But it would fucking work. I guarantee it. Holy shit. I don't want to vent with this shit. I want to have fun. I want to watch something get me enjoyed. And I'm watching... I'm good enough to watch campy garbage that I, I love. I love Green Lantern. Comic book was probably my first superhero I really got into majorly. Right? And all the things afterwards. And that horrible movie they made. I fucking watch. I've watched it over a dozen fucking times. Maybe two dozen times. I have fun. And I get through it. But I can recognize that... Bad it is, and what it does to the character. What it it stopped every fucking, you know, cameo he was supposed to make in anything, any cohesiveness, and and, and in the DC's attempt. But you know, I fucking watch it. I could, I can get through it. I could watch the even original Dungeons and Dragons. It's just fucking annoying. The Ridley shit. Like, <sighs> fuck off. Look, Dungeons and Dragons, Honor Among Thieves. I'm not fucking recommending this. I don't give a fuck that one of the greatest parts of my life, the passion of life, would be cheated from viewers who care about my content, who listen to me, and or, you know the droves of fucking people who listen to me who will do exactly what I tell them. You know, don't watch this fucking movie. You know, I don't know. Just don't like it. Don't recommend it. This is fucking bullshit. Fuck the critics and the garbage bullshit. They're trying to pull over about this movie being so much fun. It's on Facebook, like, oh, the adventure is fun. Bullshit. I see that fucking ad now. I'm hiding it forever. I don't want to fucking see this shit anywhere. Not Chris Pine's stupid fucking face with his mandolin over his shoulder. Nothing. His stupid fucking paladin does fucking nothing. Except, you know, try to show a fucking high-level character with magical shit. It's fucking stupid. And your fucking shitty actor, sorcerer, Michelle Rodriguez, doing the only fucking good thing in the movie. Can't remember her fucking name, ass white fucking shapeshifter. Who's a fuck? 
Hugh Grant fucking bullshit con artist that's making the centerpiece of the fucking movie who's in the movie for fucking 14 minutes and you know right away he's not the true fucking villain he's a fucking clown stakes feel like bullshit nothing feels fucking weighty to it nothing and I don't like this fucking movie I don't fucking like it so I'll end that here it's not what I wanted. I want to have fun. I want to love it. I want to hug it and kiss it and tell it I love it. And I can maybe do that for the, out of the first trilogy, two of the fucking movies, where I can see what they tried to do. And the cartoon, which I fucking love, holds up to this day for me. The books will never be ruined. I'll read them over and over. My Dragonlance trilogy. I got like fucking nine trilogies. It's like Dragonlance, the compare. The you know, legends, and then they go back in the meetings and the prequels and the nations, all the way up to c- catching up to the where the dragon list happened and going forward with Palin, Sturm, the Tannin, Margaret Weiss, and Tracy Hickman's fucking gem. She, they should be getting fucking awards right now. R.A. Salvatore with the fucking Icewind Dale, you know, trilogy, and that whole fucking. Heart and soul of Forgotten Realms, which is fucking sitting on. And you make shitty fucking games reaping off Ari Salvatore's fucking genius. And you shit on it and make a fucking bullshit fucking game that sucks. Money grab fucking bullshit. And that's what this is. Seems like a fucking money grab. Let's see if we can make a movie. You know, I don't know, what, 40-something million? Oh, I'm not going to try to think it looks big, you know? Uh, you know, but we'll fucking ham it up. So, fuck you, movie. Hope everybody's doing well. Love you all, despite this rant about fucking Dungeons & Dragons. I wish you all the best. Till next time. Take care.